Hey Basis, these are the Fusion ENAW20 Ron, the active uh, enclosure. Uh, I basically decided to take it apart because I don't know if you remember I did the JKL's Going Down Slowed song. It was a very windy day, but the space, because this had an internal amp fault, I couldn't really get decent bass out of it. So as I say, I decided to take it all apart. So I thought I'd show you the inside. So that's the crappy sort of cable that it comes with just to wire it up to the subs. I found a little torchlight, you might be able to see better in there. See, there's the port one port. Um, see, just all the lining up in there. It's very. And all they've done is they've put another separate chamber through to the for the amp. It's not really the amp. You think the amp would be exposed, but it's not. It's actually just back of the box. And of course, if I can if I remember the legendary loose port, the reflector to the base. I don't know if I can see that one on the other side. Come in here, you can see that's the top one. The top one, I don't know if I can do it, but it's loose as anything. See, I'm just rocking that with my finger, <laughs> so I've got to fix that. But as I say, I come up here, you look at the subs. That's the Fusion subs, and they're a little bit, they're 4 ohms, but they're, they're actually running on 5.2, 5.3, so it's not good. This one's got a nice rasp to it. So they're not in the best of condition. <laughs> So I think what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the amp and I'll show you, you'll be quite surprised to see how charred one side of it is. Just before I start showing the amp, I did show you, I go, what the hell has happened to this sub when I pulled it out? I see it's all like, it's like a goddamn mice in it or something, <laughs> chewing away at it or something. Unless it got severely burnt when the amp got burnt, but I doubt that very much. OK, so I'm using a torch lamp flashlight so you can see where the amp would have been. Now you can see what they've done is they've joined all the cables together into the spade terminal connectors or whatever you call them. Which is, you know. Um, as you can see where the amp was, there's a little bit of charring there. don't know if you can see them. That was where the side of the amp that got a little bit burnt. Um, you can see where they bought the cables through, drilled the cables through, and there's that legendary model number. <laughs> um, I will show you the amp. This is the legendary ENAW2121, it's active amp. <laughs> so as you can see it's got all, that's what it has. Got the juice back I mean it uses 20, I think 25 amp fuse. I might turn that around and zoom in, but it, it went through a phase where for the first 5-6 months it was fine. And suddenly it just started blowing fuses like there's no tomorrow. And there was one day I was driving home from work playing some decaf and it just literally just everything just died. Everything just went off the little bass controller. The LED just flickered off and went off and that was it and it just died. Come home and these sort of grills were just like keating like burn just burnt amp. It was just completely sort of brown. With brown residue dust and I can still see little bits of it in there. Well, some of it is dust dust, but some of it is actually from still from the amp. And uh so I, when I went to move it to get it out, it actually burnt my hand because I touched the amp. I didn't realize how red hot it was. Um, so it's not good really. And then I changed the fuse to another one I had, another spare one that came with it. And that blew it within 10 minutes of having another new fuse in it. So then that was when I decided it was going to be a bit of a fire hazard or something. So I gave up with it. And I say, yesterday I decided to take it apart and in this video today. So I will show you the outcome of the inside of it that is nicely charred. And here we are, the drum roll. As you can see, if I zoom in very gently, because otherwise it will go out of focus, it is very nicely charred. That was why it really stunk when it finally did cook itself. Look, you can see nicely. Now you've got a bit of light, now you can see what's going on. See, that side looks alright. You start coming over here, it starts to get a bit charred over there, but you start going this way and the more charred it gets. If I can find a torch line, a flashlight on them, that's a bit easier to see. See how black that is? That's like, whoa. <laughs> As I say, that absolutely stunk. And it did strangely, when I first bought this uh, sub and that, it was active enclosure, I did, did have a funny smell to it. I didn't think really nothing of it. I think that was just new smell, but maybe I think now that it was possibly damaged before I even started wiring it up, so that is why I'm not going to be using it from now on. If I want to find another way to wire it up to my car, I've got a 5 amp in there currently. If I can hook it up to that and see if the subs actually will last, 
because they don't sound very healthy because I because of course this is knackered this uh, amp so I couldn't set the gain properly so I'd like to try it and see how long they'd actually last on a proper amp so we shall see what happens Hey bases, you remember this is the ENAW21 Shout out to the baddest girl in the club right now There she is, there she go Tends to break the necks of most Looking fast but moving slow She the headline of the show She's slowing down Won't spin it around Dancing on anything she feels is close to a beer She don't usually go to the club But after tonight she's talking to town And I hope you never fall Okay, thanks for watching. Well, hopefully that's a lot better video than the last one. You can prove it's definitely got much more bass than what it definitely had before. So, uh, likes are appreciated and hope to do some more bass videos with the Fusion. So, thanks for watching. Please rate and sub for more.